up, people? It's Terry, Quag and Lord here, just coming at you with another hints and tips video. So today I'm going to talk about uh, solo play and making gold, and um, probably the quickest and easiest way to make gold if you're running around by yourself, uh, not really interested in doing dungeons. So you can make yourself between five to ten gold an hour doing this, depending on drops and other things. So that's pretty good. Um, so this is the world boss event chains. Basically, this world boss event chain is a, a quite a sizable zerg that goes around killing the world bosses that spawn pretty much one after the other. Uh, there's a lot of dedicated websites to show the different times that they spawn. They always spawn at the same time every day. So, um, and they do spawn multiple times. So if you do miss one, you can go back and do it again. Uh, every time you kill these bosses, you're guaranteed the, um, the large chest, but you do not get the bonus chest. You only get that once per day per account. So basically chests and bonus chests and all these things so basically when you fight these world bosses uh, at the end of the fight you will get a little personal chest just like when you get your daily uh, inside there is a minimum of a rare uh, a maximum of an exotic you cannot get ascended from those mini chests um, but you can get some pretty nifty little drops there um, and also from the world boss chest as well Normally, 99% uh, of the time, you're going to get blues and greens with the odd rare. But there is that odd time where you can get an exotic. Some of those exotics that come from these world boss chests, especially because they are part of collections these days, can be worth upwards of hundreds and hundreds of gold. So you can get a pretty good payday from one of those chests. Um, also, it is kind of fun running around. You can meet some new people, join up with groups. Um, because people are always ask you for groups because uh, supposedly uh, you get a better chance of tagging the boss if you're in a group or better loot um, or shared magic find. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but that's what uh, a lot of people say, so I'm not going to argue with it. Um, it's a good way of being sociable, in my opinion. Um, as I said, uh, this is a very very good thing if you're running around by yourself or there's not many guild members on um, of course uh, it is pretty much just jumping from uh, boss to boss following the timers and uh, if you're not level 80 they do spawn in different zones and all different levels so I uh, just take a look at the temple timer websites I will leave uh, a link to the website in the description and I'll tell you what level they are so no matter what, if you're level 10 or level 80, you can still participate in these world bosses. Um, unfortunately, if you're not quite level 30, you will not receive that bonus chest, but you will receive the world boss chest anyway. So give it a go. It's uh, lots of fun. Um, another handy tool when it comes to these world boss events is if you haven't tried looking at Oval. Um, it's a little extension program that you can use uh, along with TeamViewer and different things in Guild Wars. Uh, inside that there's many different little handy applications and one of them is a Temple Timer application. So with that I usually have it up during the day and you can see where the different events are going to spawn and at what time. Because especially when it comes to certain events such as to Quaddle, uh, to Quaddle the Sunless, you need to be there upwards of 30 to 40 minutes uh, in advance to secure yourself a good spot on the map uh, to make sure you're on a map that is capable of doing it. Uh, these are classed as organized to follow maps. Um, a lot of unorganized maps are successful, so um, don't be afraid if you're not on the map for 30 minutes. You can get there the last five minutes and be very lucky you got on a good map, but I prefer to be on the organized maps. Um, basically, you're pretty much guaranteed a total kill and a chance at the higher level loots, such as the total specialty weapons, uh, center chests, and other little goodies such as the uh, mini Hylix or the mini total sunless. 
also in conjunction with the different world bosses events are the ore temple events this is for the uh, level 80 players so basically it is a similar kind of deal um, there's multiple temples on ore uh, all for with event chains and bosses uh, all giving bonus chests and world event chests as well um, it's very I would highly recommend doing both of these if you're looking to uh, build up your karma and your gold on a daily basis. So, um, just to wrap all this up, um, take a good look at the uh, world event chains. It's kind of fun. You can meet some new people, make some gold. As I said, between five to ten gold an hour, and also uh, take a look at the all temple events as well for the level eighty players. I might make another video uh, surrounding that, just with a bit of footage in the background. But uh, on that note, uh, take care, guys, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you all around Terrier. Later, all.